changing your needle is one of the most important part of owning a soy machine. On the Bernina 880 Plus, that is no different. As soon as you change thread thickness or even your different kinds of fabric, you're gonna notice that a different needle might be needed. We're gonna link to all of our needle videos. They're really short and sweet where you can learn so much about all the different types of needles and you can match up which fabrics you're going to be needing which needle for. So we're gonna talk about just how to change a needle. So first off, the screwdriver you're looking for is this little one here. There's a special place in your accessory box that it can easily fit into. And if you can't find yours, the place where you want to check to see if you had put it back there last time. So first off, one of the things I want to teach you is if you are taking thread out of your machine, is not necessarily to pull the thread from the spool backwards, but take your scissors and snip at your spool and pull the thread out the needle this way. That way you're not pulling out any extra lint or pulling it up into your machine that could cause problems over time. Next, if you have a little trouble getting to your needle, remember you can lower your presser foot. It'll give you a little bit more room down in this area. Take your screwdriver and loosen the screw. Now here's a note about the screwdriver. First off, when we go back and put a new needle in, make sure that you don't crank this super tight. I mean, you can tighten it and you need to, but just make sure that you're not putting extra pressure on that screw that could eventually damage this whole shaft. So just a gentle turn, enough so the needle doesn't fall out, that's your goal, and it'll be enough a little bit more than just turning it with your fingers because this won't hold it in just that little twist. So give it a nice little gentle tightening once you put your new needle in. As you find a needle, you'll have a flat side on the back. Make sure it gets all the way at the highest position. So slide it up, make sure it touches the top, and then tighten it in place. Now one way to double check that your needle is as high as it will go is to make sure that when you thread the machine, if your needle threader actually threads through the hole of the needle. Do keep in mind that small needles can be limiting to where that needle threader can pull thread through. I mean, that hole is so much smaller. There's a hard time for that needle threader. It can only go through such a small hole. So too small of a hole, nah, might not work at all. But on a normal sized 80 or larger needle, you should have no problem. Even a 75 should have no problem with the needle threader. But that does mean that it double checks that your needle is as high as it will go. How often do you change needles? Well, you'll be surprised. As long as you are finding a good quality stitch, you're not hearing the little tick, tick, tick of the needle, but as soon as you are sewing and you have a thread break, that's a clear indication your needle needs to be changed. Plus, you're gonna notice that if you're stitching along or even embroidering and you have a little extra loop of thread or a skip stitch, that is a classic example of needles needing to be changed. Don't forget that changing your needle, you might even clean out underneath your throat plate and oil this machine. It needs to be oiled and cleaned on a daily basis. So keep a good fresh needle in and good quality thread. Clean your machine and your Bernina 880 will be humming through all your sewing projects.